Welcome back to another Full Send video. Um, today we are going to be diving into the Dyna. We are going to be doing a oil change on it. We are going to pull the top rocker box cover and swap out the breathers. And we are also going to fix the right side handlebar control switch because my rear brake light is stuck on because the little tab in the switch is broke. So we're gonna swap that out today, get the oil change and breathers done, and we're gonna roll this thing outside, give it a good pressure wash in, clean it off, because it has been sitting for a year. So it's time to get this thing back on the road. Um, I should have recorded it yet the other day, but I spent some time and polished out my front and rear fender along with my tank. So those are looking pretty good. The paint's not perfect, but you know, it is what it is. It looks better than it was. Um, along with that, a recent upgrade to this bike was I picked up some Torque Motorcycle Company saddlebags. So those are pretty cool. They just drape over the fender and then they uh, have two little mounts at the bottom and you can strap your bag down. Hunter, if you want to pan over and show that real quick. I'll put it in later. I'll put it in over you talking. Oh, okay. Um... So that was a nice addition to the bike. I'm excited to be able to actually carry some stuff with me. Um, I think at this point it's enough of me talking and time to dive into this bike. And primary drained. Uh, we put the drain bolt back in. Now we're going to fill this thing up right quick. The primary takes a quart, so I'm just going to fill that up. Got that buttoned up and looks like the engine oil is pretty close to drained. Give that a couple more minutes, drain my makeshift oil pan into an actual oil pan, and then drop the trans oil and we'll throw a drain plug back in the engine and fill that up while the trans is draining. Dropping this drain plug for the transmission. So you're supposed to fill this and check it on the side stand, but we got it on here. So we're gonna fill to a guesstimation of what uh what I'm gonna need, but should be like 3.75, four quarts, whatever.
Dude, come on, spill it everywhere like you did last time. No! I think that should be close. Once, uh, let me roll this thing off the lift and, uh, Get it on the jiffy stand. I'll top it off if I need to, but that should be relatively close. We'll get back to that one. So we got the engine oil filled, the trans oil filled, the primary filled, the new oil filter on. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop off these top rocker box covers, swap out the breathers. And I figured while I have these rocker box covers off, I'm gonna go throw them on the bench and put a nice cut and polish on them and get this chrome looking a little better. Um, so let's dive into it. You going? I'm gonna take it. You're going. Okay. So got the bolts out of the top rocker box covers. Um, they're they're a bit on there, so we're gonna give them a little love tap with a dead blow. See if we can get these to to break loose. There's that one. And there's that one. Slide these right out. That out. And now we got to our breathers. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop these out, and put in all the new parts for the breathers. And Done a set of breathers in a minute. Yeah, it's a bit worn out. So we're gonna get some new ones in there. That right, gasket just crumbled. Come on. These breathers have probably never been changed on this bike. You're going? Yep. All right, so went ahead, changed out the to a new little rubber flap seal and got the new foam in here. Got a new gasket on this cover. So we're gonna go ahead, line that up there. Line this gasket up here. We are going to drop these breathers back in. Just like that. Come on. Maybe not. Let's do this a smarter way. You can flip the bike upside down? Dude, why didn't I think of that? I don't know. Oh my god. It's almost like I'm not an idiot like you. You have to use your brain every once in a while. I don't like to, bro. And boom. So now we got the front breathers changed out on the front cylinder. Um, we're gonna go through 
pull the rear and get this one bolted back up. Get out of here. Dude. Dude. Just taste it. No, I'm not tasting it. Come on. It looks tasty. Bro, I'll lick it if you buy me that new... <laughs> RM450. <laughs> yeah, I don't like teas, dude. That tea's going out smooth. You going? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah, cook. Thanks. Um... Oh. Fuck, I meant to use this. Oh, well, we're going to get out of here. Cleaned up a decent bit, but I'm gonna hit it with something a little stronger. I mean, it's not perfect in no means, but looks a little better than it did. Started out like that, turned out like that. So I'm gonna go through, hit the sides, um, and then I'm gonna go through with a finer pad and hit this again and see how it looks after that. And then move on to the next one. So we got those top rocker box covers on there. We got the air cleaner on there as well. And uh, Time to put the tank back on.
All right, so we got the Harley keys. It's time to finally fire this thing up. I am excited to hear this thing run. It has been way too long. So we got the keys sitting down there. Flip on the ignition switch. All right, we're at neutral. It's alive. So I am pumped about that. I haven't heard this bike run in over a year. So I'm pretty damn excited that this thing is up and running. So I'm gonna let this thing warm up. I'm gonna double check oil levels after everything's warm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in to that handlebar control switch. the bike off the lift let it run let it get warm and I let it cool back down check the trans fluid and the engine fluid and the levels were pretty close to spot on so that was nice um, and I have started diving into this handlebar control switch so the part that's broke on this for me is that little nub that little button right here that little button right there. So if you can tell, it's got a hole in it because I tried to cheat it out with a little screw, but there was a, um, a little tab right there that pressed against the brake lever. And that broke off on me. So I was looking at this thing and I was looking at the new handlebar control switch for it. And this came with a full harness and everything. Um, so initially I was like, okay, well I'm gonna have to Pull the, pull the wires out the bars and swap out the, the whole kit and caboodle. Well, I was thinking well, that that wasn't fun to do the first time and it was quite a pain in the butt and I really don't want to do it again. So, I was just sitting here looking at this and I think that I can get this switch out of this housing and if I can get that switch out of the housing I can definitely get this one because there's a bigger gap right there and it's a brand new switch. So I think if I get this one out, I know I can get that one out and then cut the wires on that one, cut the two wires on this one and solder in the new switch and slide that switch in here. So I think, I think it's possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I guess, why not? So I'm gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna pull that one, that button out. But I'm going to make sure that button fits in this housing, which I believe it should. But I'm gonna double check that real quick before I go snipping wires and making my life a little harder. So I will pick you guys back up once I figure out if I can get this switch out and if the new switch fits in this housing. All right, so that was way easier and way quicker than I thought it would be. Um, literally took me about three minutes to pop this one out and pop this one out. And then I already popped this one into this housing. So it functions properly and fits in there. Um, so I guess at this point, I'm going to go ahead, snip these wires. Yeah, I'm gonna snip these wires, snip these wires, and solder this bad boy back in. All right, we're out with the old, and in with the new. New one's in there, it's seated in the housing, and I've tested it, functions properly, so that's awesome. Um, now I am getting ready to put this handlebar control housing back on the bars, um, the throttle tube back on, Throw the 
front brake back on and connect up the throttle and idle cable. So once I do that, I am done with the mechanical work on this bike. So that's awesome. I am super excited for that. Um, but once I've buttoned all this back up, we're going to roll it on outside and give it a good old bath, nice pressure washing, get everything nice and clean, try and bring this motor back to life a little bit. I'm going to pick up some back to black here in the next couple days. So I'm going to go through and back to black the engine casings. So the black will be more vibrant. It'll be nice. Um, I'm super excited how this thing has come along so far and turned out. It's been a very, what's the word I want to talk, I want to say, um, it's been a very productive day. So we got everything I needed to get done on this bike done. So how about enough of me talking and I'll go ahead and button this back up and then give her a go back.